So hey guys, uh, here you're interested about Soil Max. Uh, what we have here is our ZD48 tile plow. We also have a little bit larger three point and then a pull type as well. Uh, as far as how they work in the ground, they're all identical. They all work based off of the pitch of the plow. And how we accomplish that pitch is by moving a set of cylinders to make the, the plow shank pitch up or down. That is how we control grade. That way, whatever's on the surface of the soil does not matter. One of the big advantages with a soil max plow, whether it's a three point, a ZD48 or a pull type, as long as it's a stealth ZD, it has our zero deflection technology. And what we're getting at with that is all of our plows have a pivot point, which is right here. Where our tile comes out of the bottom of the plow is directly in line with that pivot point. So anytime our plow needs to make a grade change or say you hit a rock and the plow comes up, that exit point follows the arc of the plow. Competitive plows and our old plow, that exit point was somewhere behind the pivot point. So if, for example, if the front of my plow and the back of my plow were one to one ratio, if the front came up six inches, the back's gonna go down six inches. So a side effect of the ZD technology is we moved most of the plow farther forward underneath. By doing that, we're accomplishing more lift of the soil as we're tiling, which makes the plow actually pull quite a bit easier. So what we're doing with that soil is we're lifting and fracturing, and it's essentially like a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. He's picking the ground up and running right underneath it. We're breaking all that open and just sliding through there. We're not actually plowing through the soil. On the bottom of our plow, you can't really see it here, uh, but we can, it's in our literature, we can put up a graphic of it. We're cutting a trapezoidal trench with our plow bottom. There's an industry standard for tile installation, and it says that for anything less than eight inch tile, you can use a V bottom, a round bottom, or a trapezoidal bottom. Anything eight inches or above, they don't want you to use a V anymore. Well, since our big plows can put in eight and 10 inch tile as well, we decided we were gonna use a trapezoidal trench for all of our tile. So all of the plate steel pieces you see on this plow are made out of T1 steel. The reason we use the T1 steel is it's two and a half times the tensile strength of mild steel. So we're getting a lot more strength out of a lot narrower profile in the machine. And it's all one of the other reasons that these plows pull so easy is they're just narrow, narrower than pretty much anything else out there. Another advantage of the Soil Max plows you'll see is our tile boots. You'll notice they're square. A lot of them aren't. The nice thing about a square tile boot is when you put a round piece of pipe through it, it only touches in one or two places going down through that boot. So there's less drag on the pipe, less chance of stretching it. And we even go a step further on the back side of these boots. We put poly to make the tile slide even easier. Another example of us using poly is down here on the side panels. You'll see this triangle here that has no dirt stuck to it. We do that because it makes the plow pull easier. So we're not getting a bunch of dirt stuck to the side of the plow that's making a bigger trench and making it pull harder than it needs to. Now where we don't have poly, you can see we do have dirt stuck to it, but the majority of the plow that's in the ground doesn't because of that poly. One of the advantages of having the square tile boot and the poly inside of it is it minimizes drag of the pipe going through the boot. By doing that, we help eliminate stretch on the pipe. The other way we can help with that as well is we can add a power feeder to the machine. Um, most people don't on a ZD48 just because the, the plow's low enough to the ground that it's not really putting a lot of drag on the tile. But on our bigger plows, it's definitely an option, definitely an option we recommend. Um, if, you, if you stretch the pipe, you weaken it. So all that pipe has corrugations in it and those corrugations are there for rigidity. Well, as you stretch the pipe, those corrugations are no longer the shape they were meant to be. And so then it loses its, its strength and its rigidity. So driving a piece of heavy equipment across it can actually cause your pipe to crush or collapse. And we don't want that. And that's why we don't want to stretch the pipe as we install it. Upgrade the field, upgrade your yield with our elite lineup of Soil Max tiling equipment. For more information, head to SoilMax.com.